James, I am curious how MediaTek is working with RedCap. What is RedCap to start? Uh, good question. So RedCap, it really is supposed to stand for reduced capability. So what it does is, you know, it is 5G mm -hmm. first and foremost, um, but it's reduced capability in that it's, I would say like 5G light. Ah, okay. Uh, there's a lot of devices and applications today where you don't need over a gigabit per second that 5G can provide, right? That would probably be too much power for specific devices. Exactly. Too much speed, too much power, no, just too much limelight. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to right size the connection for the right appropriate uh, application. And that's what RedCap is. It's a lighter version of 5G. It's still 5G. It was defined okay. in release 17, but it's for you know, a different class of applications. So what kind of applications will RedCap be empowering? Uh, so RedCap, uh, if you think about it, it can really apply to a lot of things, uh, for example, in the wearable space. So either you wear on your wrist or you wear around your, you know, your head, your Didn't eyes. even think about that, yeah. yeah. Because those things are very light, you know, obviously battery powered, and they right. need to operate throughout the day. And people expect those to last a very long time. Absolutely. What's another business application that you can use RedCap for? So there are various, and I'll give you two. Okay. Uh, one is, for example, Industrial 4.0. You know, we're talking about just-in-time manufacturing and diagnostics. So RedCap, because it's 5G, has lower latency, what it can do is you can implement it on the manufacturing floor, and you can use it to take pictures and offer diagnostics based upon those pictures. Oh, cool. Pretty cool, right? The other thing that RedCap can do is, um, it is a lower speed, like hundreds of megabits, um, but what it can do is it can be a backup to your wired broadband connection. So for example, you know, uh, because of the storms usually, or we get power outages. Right. And when that happens, obviously your wired broadband goes down. But people think, are thinking about putting a RedCap modem into your home gateway and then when the wire broadband goes down, it kicks in. And for that moment, yes, it won't give you a gigabit per second or so to your home, but it's good enough, let's say 100 or 50 megabits per second, to get you through the day, right. to get you through that power outage until your the power comes back on again. So there are various applications of RedCap where uh, it's more for industrial kind of a backup kind of a purpose. Well, that's cool. I kind of want that for my home network. <laughs> So do I. <laughs> when is RedCap going to roll out and what types of devices is it going to support? We anticipate RedCap to make its way into the mainstream market sometime second half of 2025. And that's really contingent on the network being there because obviously there needs to be a network there. So the operators in the world have deployed RedCap in their network region by region. But definitely I think next year in 2025, second half, you'll see RedCap out there. Uh, in devices. In terms of types of devices, I think you'll see it first in more of the wearable kind of space, but then as we progress, you'll see it probably more in uh, other consumer and uh, prosumer kind of devices, uh, maybe your laptop and maybe some of those uh, devices uh, for your broadband as a broadband backup kind of connection and application. So they're going to come, but it's going to uh, start in the second half of 2025. Very cool. I'm looking forward to it.